I don't. So here's how I play it to have some enjoyment. Because this is not even the build that I play. I play Tetrad with Mutiny Song and Kirin's Cash and Volatile Mind. And then I play my favorite mode, which is basically um, Capture the Flag. I like Capture the Flag and Flag Hunter a lot more than I like um, playing um, whatchamacallit. Um, Core Rush. Which is a, a flip. I used to love Core Rush the most. Then Capture the Flag, then Flag Hunters. But now it's, it's completely flipped. Not you. Yes, you. I don't know. The whole idea about the way they do they do it is when Kyle makes his changes, they leave it for two weeks and he wants to get the data from two weeks of gameplay. I I'm just honest. I read it and knew this is the result. I, I read it and realized this would be the result of it. I I just read it. I never played it. Before I had the horn, when I was playing against horn players and watching them not die. Duh, it's it's a foregone conclusion. It's too strong. Just the numbers don't make sense. At level one, it's super strong. I played it at level one for capture the flag on a one v four. I think I died twice on mistakes. Nah, he's gonna play uh, capture the flag. I mean the other thing, and I don't want to play that. Oh, we're almost out of ten thousand. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's when when they test and they just test the new gear and don't test it in concert with other stuff that's a bizarre way to test something new it's super bizarre of course the new thing is fun to play and of course it's like oh wow it works really well of course they're gonna do that stuff but <laughs> what happens when you play it against other stuff that already pre-exists <laughs> You're not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Just being serious. Not gonna make it. Woohoo! Speed kills. And so this is really boom boom guns. We Just in case there's somebody who's good. One, two. Alright, that's three mines. Let's go. Give me twenty seconds. Let's go get that flag. Tower not. Fight back. Go. They will not Double quiet. Kill. I got him! Stop them. Find <laughs> I'm doing a lap around the map! Holler! <laughs> Boop! Whoops. Just in case, is somebody good? This One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Continue. There's only two mines there, but I think I can kill somebody if they try to get it. 20 seconds, let's go! Let's do another lap. Damn, he survived. I gotta roll run and cross the map. Go kill him. Nice. This was a mistake. Never jump back. I can always put mines where you're gonna land. Because I make sure I learn. So, when you take the other jump pad, you land here. When you take this jump pad, you land here. So you mine this area. Strategic mining. People think it has you you can you play it with no skill. You actually drop them in specific locations to stop people from coming after you. Time to lap it. What? Let me see how much I got this time. That could have been four minutes.
So that's 286. So I'm going to save the number, right? I told some dude, right, that I scored 350. It was either 351 or 379 playing a capture the flag. He's like, that's not possible. I tell him I average around 250 to 270 per game when I'm playing quick. And I'm not trying to mess around and shoot people and get kills. Just run it and get the flags. That's 286. I'm going to post that for him because he's going to be like, ah, oh, that's not possible. That I told you what my average is. I, could, I told you what I, the highest I've ever done. And it stuck out to me because it was so damn high. <laughs> what do you mean it's not possible? I just did it. <laughs> you can play the game so fast that you can score 400 points in about under three minutes. If you're doing it really quick, when I play with my daughter, and if I don't let her get any flags, but we were just running back and forth and I was running all the flags, we could finish the game in under two minutes. Because my daughter plays a speed build or whatever. We can push the numbers up really, really high. Because... If one person runs the flags, you're scoring 120 every time. Anytime you get a kill, you drop in 10 extra into that. I scored 725 points. Why? I kept killing the flag bearer. So every time the guy who picked up the flag died, I got 40 more points. Every time I picked up the flag, I got 40 more points. I also got 10 points for killing him. That was 90 points without doing anything besides just killing the flag bearer and returning a flag. Plus the 120 I'm always getting. That's what I'm just saying. Like, people will be telling you stuff is not possible. Bro, I have not, you have not played as long as I have. One of the skills that I have in this game is staying away from really powerful builds with really fast people that can kill you, like, in two to three seconds. I used to be able to run flags on big maps for five to six minutes before scoring them. The match was 15 minutes long. I used to just be running and dodging that whole time. When people are like, oh, it takes no skill. Do you think that's easy? And the players I'm playing against weren't like crappy players. These were like some of the top veterans currently. Some people who even stopped playing. But those guys were super, super hard to play against. You literally had to survive sometimes six minutes running flags back and forth. Four minutes, three minutes before you could score one damn flag. The games we used to play used to go to 15 minutes and be like two to one. Because half of the match, all you did was run. You couldn't even get to your flag. Because every time you would try to get to it, the flag would have even been taken. Or, if you don't go get it yourself, you don't get it back. It was an, It's tough. That's why when people say, like, oh, this mode is not... All it is is run to the middle and shoot. That's... you playing it wrong. Because if you play it right, you just run around the sides and never get hit. That's how you really play capture the flag. The two main skills you get from this mode is chasing people down and staying away from people, evading people, and being able to score specifically high value, or what do you call it, items. That's why when you're running shards, if you know how to play CTF and you know how to evade people, it's a great skill for running shards. If you're playing eventide, running shards is one of the other ways to just jack up your score per minute super high and move to gold. When I'm playing like really high games, I get gold pretty easily. It's really objectives about three or four shard runs of five or better. <laughs> and that's it. Objectives and three or four shard runs. After that, consistently just getting outposts. Getting myself 54 points all the time. 54 points, 54 points, 54 points. Another trick is the Harvest Moon. There, You get 120 points if you collect three, three crystals. Um, Flashpoint, every Paragon you kill is worth 50. That's where the points are. It's winning those things, killing the people, scoring those stuff. That's where you get all your points. That's why people are like, how are people getting such high points? If you focus on kills, kills is the hardest way to get a really, really high score. It's possible, but if you're watching people like Hexecutor running around pulling out 300, 400 scores... I think as high as I've seen was 368 per sec per minute, score per minute in one game. What was he doing in that game? Shards, objectives, and killing people. He did all three. You got to do all three for it to be that high. 
the only way you can do it through kills is you keep getting penta deca omega penta deca omega omega mega you keep getting those the higher your your kill score goes up they give you extra bonus points for kills but you got to be consistent and constantly doing it so that's the other way you get points but yeah it's all i can say man that's what i'm saying a person tell me no it's not possible what do you mean it's not possible for you maybe but how are you thinking everybody plays the same way you play